So inside the house, this large beam that runs, that's where we hear them. Kelly and Rochelle Swan have been trying to make this house they bought two years ago their home. But little did they know they had squatters, a cauldron of bats in their roof. It started last August when a bat flew in their living room. That's when I called the exterminators all over the province and they couldn't, like, they just said good luck. You know, they're protected. There's nothing that we can do about them. The Ministry of Environment says the bats are listed as endangered species. This University of Regina professor has studied bats for 40 years and says they are in trouble due to a disease called white nose syndrome. Is it interferes with this species' ability to hibernate. Uh, it seems to cause it to lose more water than it would in most situations. Um, and uh, that is fatal to these bats most of the time. Because it's illegal to kill or disturb the bats without a permit, the family took a different approach last winter. You can see every little divot is filled with silicone now. Sealing holes in the roof and installing bat cones, which allow the creatures to leave but not come back. But in the spring, they found another bat in the kitchen aquarium and six more in a mouse trap. So the family has had to take health precautions as well, getting regular rabies shots. They've also reached out to the government for help, but that hasn't solved anything. The federal government, government has protected the species, but we're not protected. The only option left for the couple is to remove the entire roof, but that would cost them up to 100 grand and then some more to get the bats relocated, and no insurance will cover it. They have thought of moving as well, but the bats have made their home hard to sell. So for now, they are in limbo. We have the bats for life. I guess we're going to die here with them. <laughs> Pratish Tayal, CBC News, Spiritwood.